Hi everybody, today I'm going to talk about the Blue Wave uh, firmware update which is available for these two players. Uh, I'm more going to specify about the YPP2 because now there is two Blue Wave firmware updates. The first Blue Wave update and now the second edition. Uh, basically it's adding a lot of functionality to the MP3 player such as uh, you can use your MP3 player as a mobile phone well not as a mobile phone but you can connect to your mobile phone and then dial out via your YPP2 and it's having other functions such as updated touch screen gesture uh, the menus has been made into 3D so let's have a look at this and let's have a look what the new Blue Wave first edition is offering and in one of my new videos I'll tell you about the new Blue Wave second edition firmware and just a little touch on that on what that's offering too so let's have a look so let's take a, a hands-on look at the new upgrade called Blue Wave the first Blue Wave and there's many more to come uh, Basically, Samsung have been kind enough to offer not just a, a normal firmware update to fix bugs, bugs and errors, but they've actually tried to make the user ex have a better experience with the MP3 player and offer more functionality. So, for the start of the Blue Wave, let me explain by saying that I don't know if it will come up clearly on the screen. But what Samsung have done is the old Cosmos menu, they've updated it, and the old 2D icons have been updated to 3D. So as you can see, you've got a whole selection of 3D icons, when they, whereas they used to be 2D. Uh, the touch screen, any bugs and errors which you used to have with touch screen, and any delays has been gone. It's, it's now much more smooth and you can feel it's a better interaction with the player itself. The menu has been updated like I said and some of the functions, one of the greatest functions which I think is truly amazing which they've added to the player is if we go now to the Bluetooth function basically Bluetooth has been completely updated so as before where you were only allowed to connect a Bluetooth headset now what you're able to do is you're able to connect a Bluetooth headset a mobile phone file transfer Bluetooth mode and settings so basically you've got a whole range of new Bluetooth settings available on this MPV player uh, as such let's go to mobile phone now what I'll do is I'll just connect my speaker to the bottom okay so when you go into mobile phone you've got these four settings mobile phone, redial, call by number and call history so if I go to mobile phone and I connect the mobile phone that I wanted to connected now what we can do let's go back we can actually call a number so call by number basically here is a call screen as you can see just like you get on a normal mobile phone and you can just dial away and then you can just call by pressing the call button and there's no response due to the fact that uh, it's not a real number and then so that's one of the functions you've got this is only con compatible as long as you've got a Bluetooth phone so this won't work unless you don't have a unless you've got a Bluetooth phone so keep bear that in mind but you've got this facility you've got call history so you can check all your previous calls uh, you can redial the number that you've called earlier before. No response again. Okay. So, also, through Bluetooth, you're able to file transfer. So, you will search for objects in the vicinity. So, I've got another YPP2. So, I turn that on. 
There we are. And as you see, it's just found the mobile phone and the YPP2. So I connect to the YPP2. Yes. And now what you're able to do is let me just search that one more time. Make sure it's turned on on this phone. So I've now connecting to the YPP2. So I press and there we go. We're now connecting. So you can actually transfer such files as video, music, playlists, pictures, data casts, text, received files, and dictionary. And you're allowed to transfer all these files within these folders to the other MP3 player or to your computer or from your phone and back and forth due to the fact that it's at this update the first of the blue wave so you can remove move your audio files from one mp3 player to another and still you know use them on both players and let's see what else I can show you you've got another update which they've done on the blue wave is the prime pack so in prime pack you've got a built-in dictionary now you've got a world clock and some other little functions which really has added so much ability to your mp3 player which you didn't used to have uh, since the update it's now got ACC compatibility function and so now you can use ACC files which which is not too bad anyway because iPod and such use ACC files and you know you have a software called the Samsung Media software Samsung Music Software sorry and basically what that does is it, it enables you to transfer files back and forth to your YPP2 uh, as I said earlier when you are using this you can actually use it as a mobile phone so you don't actually need to take your mobile phone out your pocket as long as you've got your headphones plugged in here you can talk through the mic here so basically you could you you could just use this as your mobile phone without and you won't have to you know constantly keep taking your mobile your phone out your pocket uh, what else have we got you can transfer files uh, you can transfer them at a good speed because this is Bluetooth 2.0 the transfer speed has actually been speeded up so it doesn't actually feel too slow and this is the first of the blue wave updates there is more to come and this was released in December this first update and I assure you as we go along they will get better as, as time goes along so the first update has offered you Bluetooth more Bluetooth compatibility it's offered you file transfer it's offered you a dictionary and address book and such like that basically they're adding more and more features to the YPP2 player which is making it better for the user so this really has been a great update for the player not just fixing bugs and errors but adding more functionality to the player so if I was out there and uh, I was looking for an mp3 player with as many functions as possible this would be the one to get so just bear that in mind uh, like I said before this is a really nice player this is my favorite player and I use this all the time so I'll see you next time and take care and look out for the blue wave updates and keep an eye out for those because they add so much more functionality to your mp3 player take care and bye for now